Gotcha, Gruel. Can we have something better than Gruel? Again? Quit your grass now, Gruel. I've been making these for years. This here is the only thing you need in Gosh Darn Life. You don't need anything else except for this fine gruel. It's gonna give you maximum grades on your every single test, so you just gotta need this if you have it all day. It's been in my family for your centuries, too. I understand what you're saying, but anything's possible. Heh, <laughs> you're a funny kid. But if you get on our Gosh Darn Tomato Potato Show and win, we will let you choose what we give out to students. Challenge accepted! What are you? EDF baseball! What are you? EDF baseball! Louder! EDF baseball! So what are you? EDF baseball! Be sure to watch the next episode of Tomato Potato, where sabotage and trash talk are the name of the game. Hmm. I can do this. Welcome to Tomato Potato, where everyone can get a chance to sabotage each other. Let us introduce our contestants. Now our first contestant, Leon. Yeah, chit to win, baby! Now our second contestant, Ruby. I'm gonna crush you like a green. So our final contestant, Angela. Thank you so much for having me. I'm just excited to be here. So, um, Angela, do you have any trash talk to other people? No, not really. They all seem pretty cool to me. Leon has a nice combination of attitude and swagger which should help him today. Ruby seems to be a fan favorite with her legendary trash talk, but will her cooking be up to the task? And Angela, she doesn't seem to understand that this show is all about cheating. Her food will have to be legendary to give her any shot. It's sabotage time and Ruby is killing it. Amazingly, Angela told us that she doesn't want to sabotage. Instead, she wants to stay true to herself. What a noob. It's tasting time! So, contestant, can you show me your dish? This is Kobe chicken from Kobe. I really try to cook from the heart to make it crispy and juicy. And the patty is extraordinary. This is the golden potato from Australia. And if the potatoes were planted by the Japanese monks. See how golden it is. And it tastes really good, you must try it. Well, this is my fried chicken royale. It's marinated in Portuguese sauce. And this chicken is specifically from my parents' farm. So, as far as I'm aware, it's really good. Now our three judges will eat our contestants' food. So judges, you ready? Yeah. It better be. Can't wait to throw up. First, Leon's Kobe chicken. Try it. What is this? <laughs> and coming up next is Ruby's golden potato. What is this? It's disgusting. And finally, Angela's Chicken Royale. This is actually great. For the first time in my life, I feel actually complete. My god, what you do with this chicken? This is truly the winner. So, Angela, how do you feel? You know, Howard? Today I learned that anything's possible. Well, I'm impressed, and a bet is a bet. So, my lady, what do you want for lunch? Actually, uh, can I have some gruel? Wait, I thought you hated it. After our 143 minute talk, I realized that your gruel makes you happy. Serving it makes you happy. Why, why are you crying? So you want my girl? Well kid, today you really showed me that anything is possible.